Well, now Lee and I are going to take a look at um, a very, very special show that's on in Melbourne at the moment. It's called Cirque Bonbon. And of course, we spoke to Mario, Queen of the Circus, on our show a few weeks ago about this um, amazing show. And Lee and I have gone along now and checked it out. So, uh, Lee, what were your thoughts on Cirque Bonbon? Oh, great variety show, actually. Um, the MC was outstanding just in his wit and humour. Um, and also, of course, his skills as well. Yep. Um, his juggling skills and dancing, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the whole um, cast, really, were amazing in what they did. Um, you had anything from, as I said, juggling to... Um, the ring hanging from the roof, um, so acrobats and gymnastics and dancing. Um, I think there was some audience participation too. Now, that didn't quite go right <laughs> for some of it. We had um, a scaredy cat, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah we had someone that was um, very nervous and um, became a bit of a hindrance to the act, which made it funny. Um but what I have to say that the MC did so so well in um in calling it at the end and saying this is just not going to work. Yeah, it was it was a safety issue it by the end because issue. she was too nervous. Um, yeah. So it was really good that he called that and then someone else volunteered anyway and it actually became part of the act. It became better because of what happened. Um, and then there was another. Uh, audience participation moment um, later in the night and that was just funny that wasn't high risk or anything like that it was hilarious so um, yeah so if you sit near the front always be aware that <laughs> you might be <laughs> Mario may come something. and get you <laughs> Mario might yes uh, he was just outstanding I loved um, his whole character persona um, and his love of the band Queen as well. Yes, which is why he's called Queen of the Circus. Yes. Yep. Um, now, there were some things that made you go, oh, and hold your breath and groan as well. And I'm talking about contortionists, um, which, oh, my goodness, so amazing. You just can't actually understand how someone can bend the way that they do. In one point... And you're talking um, about Shannon Michaela here, who um, actually, I was just reading, um, holds the Guinness World Record for shooting an arrow the furthest with her feet. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, and how she does that, we won't explain, <sighs> but it is absolutely outstanding. Um, but yes, there were moments where I, I looked um, at you, Dave, and I said, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm watching a real life Annabelle <laughs> um, because what she did was so freaky um, at some point in some points and I was just thinking how can someone do that yeah yeah um, I also um, found that I really really enjoyed the work of um, Emma Go and Scott Lazarich who um, were absolutely amazing together not only as dancers but they then came back um, as a skating duo as well, um, and managed to do these amazing holds while wearing, um, roller skates. I think most of us would fall over just putting roller skates on. Um, these two do this absolutely amazing, um, display with the roller skates on, um, while she is like kind of flung around and holding onto his neck and stuff like that. So yeah, that apart from the contortionist was one of my um, favorite um, moments. The contortionist, though, for me, it was like, I could not believe that someone could get into um, some of those positions. Like, it just, to me, almost seemed like, how do you do that? Like, it's, um, yeah, just just amazing. And then Ashley Roper also did contortion um, up in the air as well, um, which, um, while doing aerial stuff, and it's just like, A getting up onto there to do that would be one thing, but then like bending yourself backwards is just absolutely amazing. There are some really quite high risk um, <clears throat> performances. Um, and of course there's no nets or, or things like that to catch anyone if they were to fall. Um, now the roller skating um, performance was on quite a small stage or platform for that, for that, um, which made it more um, risky, I think. Um, and the speed at the, at what they were um, 
rolling around with um, moving at was quite significant. If if anyone had let go of each other or uh, if someone had have fallen, there would have been great injuries. Makes me wonder when they're practicing how many falls they might have had yeah. in the past to get to that stage and to do everything so immaculately um, and make it look easy, which we know it's not. It's absolutely terrifying watching at times thinking are they going to be okay one slip and everything could go wrong but they're so professional and yeah I didn't really see many wrong moves there's a couple of juggling balls or batons that might, might have fallen here or there but that became part of the show and that was quite fun in fact um in one of the songs, it was another one by the dust. And <laughs> I think that one was deliberate. That was deliberate, <laughs> deliberate yeah. but I'm not sure that um, in a later act that it was deliberate. However, it just showed how difficult um, these performances are. And these performers would be practicing day in, day out um, and have very high skill. And, you know, the crowd loved it. The crowd was cheering. The crowd was clapping. The crowd was crowd was astounded at what they were seeing um yeah i thought it was a brilliant show yeah it definitely was so look if you want to head along and check out sec bonbon it is in melbourne for the next couple of days um i believe it is doing a little bit of a tour as well so uh, maybe check their website to see where they're headed next but look it's a great night it's colorful um it's uh it's funny um but Very it's just funny it's just one of those nights where you will sit there and think how is that humanly possible? Which is exactly what you would want from a show like this. So, and a shout out to the costume maker. Oh yes. goodness. Yep. The costumes look outstanding. Yeah, and the music is great too during oh, the performances. Great. So Everyone was singing along. Yeah. So uh, go and check out Cirque Bonbon while they're in Melbourne. Um, and also check their website to see where they are heading next.